Overview, Finding and Exploring Data. Scholars Portal Dataverse is a publicly accessible Canadian data repository provided as a shared service of the Ontario Council of University Libraries, or OCL. Dataverse can be used by anyone in the world to deposit, share, and archive research data. Universities that use the service are provided with an institutional Dataverse that is available for use by affiliated students, researchers, faculty, and staff. Users can browse data from specific institutions or view all datasets available. Scholars Portal Dataverse is located at dataverse.scholarsportal.info. This video will help you to find and explore data in Dataverse. We will cover Dataverses and Datasets, Searching and Browsing Data, Downloading Data, and Exploring Data. You can also click on the links in the description to move directly to the section you're most interested in. Dataverses and Datasets a dataverse is a container for one or more datasets or dataverses. Each university in the Scholars Portal Dataverse has an institutional dataverse that contains many dataverses and datasets. Researchers can create dataverses for their own research projects and or directly deposit datasets within their institutional dataverse or under the main Scholars Portal root dataverse. A dataset is a container for a particular research dataset. This can include research data, code, and documentation. Datasets have an associated metadata record, which is the documentation that provides context for the data. Searching and browsing data. From the main page, click Explore. In Dataverse, you can browse by clicking on Explore on the landing page or by entering an empty query in the basic search bar. From the Browse and Explore page, you can use the facets on the left-hand side of the screen to find Dataverses and datasets. Some of these facets include subject, producer, or file type. To do a quick search through all dataverses, use the Search All Dataverses box at the top of the page. Enter an exact phrase or a search term or query. Users are able to search for dataverses, datasets, and files within a particular dataverse by using the Search This Dataverse box found on a particular dataverses homepage. Use the Sort button to sort search results by name, A to Z or Z to A, newest to oldest, or relevancy of results. Use the provided list of facets to narrow your search by file type, subject, keyword, or other criteria. You can access the Advanced Search option by clicking Advanced Search next to the General Search box. In an Advanced Search, you can refine your criteria by choosing which metadata fields to search. The Advanced Search screen gives you the ability to enter search terms for dataverses, including name, affiliation, description, and subject, Datasets, using citation metadata including title, author name, keyword, and dataset persistent ID. And file level metadata, including name, description, and variable name and label. Once you've found a dataset you're interested in, click on the name of the dataverse or dataset, or on the thumbnail image to be taken to its page. The dataset page will provide you with a title, citation, description, files, file metadata, and version information for the dataset. Use the email button to email the dataset contact. The Cite Data button allows users to copy or download the citation in EndNote XML, RIS format, or Bib Text format. Dataverse automatically assigns a digital object identifier, DOI, which includes a persistent URL that will point directly to the dataset. Exploring Data the Data Explorer is a Dataverse tool for visualizing tabular data files, for example, SPSS, R, Excel, and CSV, all within the browser. To view data using the Data Explorer, click the Explore button. It will be visible next to a file in the dataset if the file is available as tabular data. The main interface displays the first 10 variables from the data file. Paging controls on the bottom left allow you to view additional variables and a drop down on the bottom right allows you to control the number of variables to display per page. The search field allows you to search across ID, name, and label, updating the interface as you type. Clicking within the row of a variable will display a chart for the data in the Chart View tab on the right. Pie charts and bar charts will be automatically displayed based on the variable type. Clicking on another variable will update the Chart View tab with the newly selected variable on top, pushing previous selections below for comparison. Clicking on a selected variable will deselect it, and clicking the X to the right of the tabs deselects all the selected variables. 
Summary statistics are also provided in the Chart View tab below the chart. Table View Next to the Chart View tab, revealed when a variable is selected, is the Table View tab. Clicking the Table View tab will display a cross-tabulation of the selected variables. By default, selected variables are shown along a row in the cross-tabulation. Variables can be switched to columns in two ways. One, you can drag the four-way arrow icon to the empty column on the left of the cross-tabulation table and release when the column darkens, or two, you can click the Add as Column icon beneath the Add as Row icon on the left of the desired variable row. With no variable selected, clicking either of these icons will display the Table View tab directly. Please see the in-depth guide online to find out more about additional statistics. The link will be provided at the end of the video and in the description box below. Downloading data. The download dropdown can be found near the top of the interface. The first option, download subset, becomes enabled when one or more variables are selected. All other options in the dropdown remain enabled regardless of selection. The entire dataset can also be downloaded from the dataset summary page. Downloading the entire original dataset is recommended as it likely contains the contextual information, documentation, and metadata needed to reuse the data. This concludes this overview of the Data Explorer. For more detailed guides, please visit github.com slash scholars portal slash dataverse dash data dash explorer. For additional help, please contact dataverse at scholarsportal.info. Your institution's contact person can be found at learn.scholarsportal.info slash all-guides dataverse help. Click the box to find more videos about Dataverse on our YouTube channel.